Daddy's brought some presents. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm sick as well. So, I'm, I'm going to have to wait a whole day. <clears throat> a whole working day. Because I have a very busy life. And um, 24 hours from now, we're going to open the boxes. But, who says we can't unbox the boxes? This is the box unboxing. Um, I won't go down to the second layer of dermatitis or whatever you call it. But we're going to go ahead and do that. And, um... Step at a time, old Zim. Hold steady. Have faith. <laughs> oh, shit. I did not think we would be back here. But, um... Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to do two things on this little quick recording. I'm going to first... We're going to open these up. I'm just going to look at them. Because I have not looked at them yet. They've been sitting for at least a couple hours. And then I took a power nap. And I was like, come on, let's get the energy. And I'm like, no, I still feel rubbish. And this isn't good. And one unfortunate Achilles heel with me is that... If I'm sick, my body's uh, vestibular system is like on super active, and so it doesn't let me VR. Um, so tonight would not have been an ideal night for an unboxing. Um, thank you, Kid Party at the weekend, for getting me and uh, three other members of my family sick. I appreciate you. I appreciate you a lot. <clears throat> By the way, this is called being a dad. When you have kids, my God, the amount of stuff that they uh, they bring you as presents, you're like, I didn't realize how sick I was going to get. Uh, how, how does it make sense? I don't know. They're like, yay, they just wander through the world. Anyway, PSVR2 subreddit and the unboxing of the boxes. I think I'll leave that to the end because that's the emotional part. Let's um, let's do some PSVR2 stuff in the subreddit. This is what we do. This is a time capsule. And they've finally done it. They've finally done it. They, um, they have updated the PSVR and PSVR2 subreddit at our PSVR. Look at that. Beautiful boxes and everything. There's even a little face on the guy. That's great. On Snoo, right? Isn't that his name, Snoo? Uh, so there you go. All the little headsets, controllers, they got everything going. This is great. So now we're finally updated. Um, they have a different one for mobile, I think. Oh, by the way, this is Miss Molotov. She is, uh, I think I mentioned before, like a super mod. And uh, this is saying, uh, the launch box, the launch day box picture mega thread. Show us your new PSVR 2. Oh uh, my God, this is going to be something else. Let's go. <clears throat> Let's see what's happening. Uh, I didn't know you could put pictures in a reply comment. Are you able to do that? Oh wait, it's, I'm not really familiar with mega threads. How does this work? Did I click the wrong thing? I don't actually know how this works. <laughs> I don't think I've ever done a mega thread before. It's going to, do I scroll down? Do I zoom out? Oh, here we are. Oh, oh, okay. <clears throat> here we go. Uh, images and comments have been enabled. Ah, so they aren't normally allowed. And this is, oh, yay. This is like the cats that German Rifter sent me because I'm sick. What a good dude, German Rifter, eh? He's such a fanciful man. Um, there you go. There's the the Horizon bundle, right? And the kitty cats uh, go ahead and get in, in on that action which is great. I don't know why I'm looking at PSVR 2 boxes and then there's Japan. Oh, and just a quick update, by the way, for those of you who were like, hey, Zim, um, you know, did your Amazon shipment come through in time? Because you had, you know, I paid $6 or whatever Canadian to get it same day shipping as a non-Prime member. And yes, it showed up on time just around about midday. I think it was, what, two o'clock or so? And uh, yeah, it worked. Uh, and there's some other people who were like, no, mine's still on the box or mine's delivering Saturday. So if you followed through on Zimmo's tips and it worked out for you, yay. If it didn't work out, I'm sorry. But um, I don't know. Maybe you're one of the people who don't matter. Uh, okay, here we go. <clears throat> it's very harsh, I know. We started that <laughs> meme last time. All right, what else we got? There's like loads of things here. What does it say? It's just showing... It's just showing white headsets, right? You had the uh, PlayStation... All this kind of stuff. I, I don't think I need to see. I was looking to see if there was anything funny here, but I don't think so. UK, I saw in there. I like the furry charging station. What else we got? Um, this is quite small. Uh, England. England gets seems to get theirs. Um, almost everyone I know who had like a delivery coming got it. Um, I think one person I know didn't. And uh, that's fine. 
What's the other one? It's uh, PlayStation VR 2 launch day, and PSVR is taking over PS5 to celebrate. Oh, it's a cross-posting. What are your first impressions of PSVR 2's hardware and software? Ooh, um, this is going to be interesting. Now, I don't know how Mega Threads work. What the hell? Okay, hang on. Is this... Uh, shipping is very discreet. I actually saw a dude... Uh, uh, okay, I'm just going to go through the rest. I don't like Mega Threads. I really don't. I think they're kind of rubbish, to be honest. Um, okay. What every car that drives by sounds like today. <laughs> a low emission propane vehicle for delivery. Oh, there's Astro. Hey, Astro. We, we actually didn't get anything for uh, from Astrobot. That's a shame. The thing I don't understand. Some of you will have seen this, right? No, this is the, just the googly eyes thing, which has been going around for a while. I actually don't like googly eyes on headsets. I think it's stupid. But um, to each their own. The thing I've seen that's even worse than this is... Have you seen this? They are drilling holes in their quests. Several people are ventilating their quests, their quest twos in particular, by drilling holes in the faceplate. Who has an overheating issue? I don't know. But this isn't a quest deep dive. This is a Reddit PSVR deep dive. So let's uh, stay on point and keep going. Okay, here we go. This is what we're here for. I want to read this post. First time, VR, PSVR 2 user here. I am absolutely floored by this thing. Hopped into Kayak VR after setup, and I was blown away by how much I was in the world. Then I hopped into GT7 for a few laps, and I was giggling like a schoolgirl around Spa. Spa's a, a race course. It's awesome. Finding the sweet spot wasn't very hard, and I can find it, again, fairly easy. I had no expectations other than I can make cargo of room. And while... I can understand the disappointment from some people. I'm in awe of this piece of tech. Uh, is it perfect? No. Is it absolutely worth diving into for a first VR headset? Fuck yes. Hell yeah. <laughs> I love this stuff. Um, the resolution is way better than those doomers were complaining about. And while there is some blur around the edges, I've heard chromatic aberration is a problem. Uh, I've already adapted to looking with my head rather than my eyes the whole time. Uh, I'm Overall, I'm ecstatic and can't wait to dive in more after work tonight. Going to give Pavlov a shot and probably Cosmonius High later. Happy launch day, everyone. Uh, honestly, people who are happy about their PSVR 2 should spread the word. VR as a, a whole is in a dire situation. And funnily enough, the PSVR 2, at the mere cost of $550, is better than pretty much every single PC-compatible VR headset, except those that cost $2,000. It's even better than the Quest Pro, which is, well, you can get them now for a grand or so. To have OLED, HDR, eye tracking, high resolution panels, big FOV, haptics is something that no one thought would be possible in this day and age. If PSVR 2 fails, VR as a whole might die again. Everyone wants to get into the AR, XR space instead because Meta has proved that VR is not a good investment. <clears throat> even the Quest 3 is XR focused. Yeah, um... You know what? That's a that's unfortunately a sad truth. At the moment, I I and we I was talking about this with a lot of other uh, longtime VR people. It's like this might be the last big one, you know, the last big launch. But goddamn, Sony have done an amazing job of launching so many titles, and it just it's it's absolutely wonderful. It's so nice to see this. It's like a celebration at the end of a very long road. And they've they've just killed it. They've just killed it. And I, I, I don't think they could have had this launch go better. Uh, I am staring at those boxes and knowing what's inside. And it is tearing me apart. We've got to get to the end of this. All right. I've only looked at like two articles so far. Um, agree. I don't know how they packed in meant that many features to a headset and only charge 550. I'm guessing it's heavily subsidized. And they hope to make it up with software sales, which would be a common Sony thing to do. The OLED screens alone are enough to make me stop buying any PC VR games on Steam, and I can also pick up on PSVR 2 now. First example is Light Brigade. I'm not buying on Steam to play on my index, but instead to get for PSVR and get those fully immersive blacks. Saints and Sinners Retribution, exactly what I was saying before. OLED is how I want to experience games that have a lot of dark colors and atmosphere. I will still use my PC VR headset for VR mods that come out, but that's the only one thing I can't get on PSVR 2. Yep. Are you guys actually getting it for five fifty, or is that before tax? More like seven hundred and fifty dollars here in Europe. Uh, costs around the same in all of Europe and NA. 
In the US, they price it without the tax since every state has their own taxes. That's correct. It was about five nine five for me after taxes. Y'all have to also consider the exchange rate. Seven fifty dollars in your country's currency may be pretty equivalent. <clears throat> That's not how it works. That's not how foreign exchange works. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> That's like, I've done the calculation. I know what it is in American dollars. I've asked you because it's more expensive here. And you're like, oh no, it's okay, Mr. European. Let's just pat, pat, pat on the head. It's okay. I don't think you realize. No, it's fucking expensive to live in the UK or Europe. You have, you usually pay several hundred over the, the asking price. Almost everything is more expensive that way. Almost everything. Like literally, if I take the Canadian dollar price, it's probably what they pay in British pounds. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And this is not just one thing. This has been going on for many years, probably decades. Um, yeah, I feel ya, UK brethren. I used to be there in the uck. But uh, then I said, well, I said some not very nice things and I moved abroad. Uh, yeah, see, 639 euro without Horizon, $680. Yeah, it's not 750, it's 640 US dollars in Euro land. I, I don't know, people are funny. Um, all kinds of stuff. See, that's equivalent to 650. So they're paying all around there. I'm, I'm curious because I almost paid like 918 in Canada for a call of the mountain including tax exactly the tax here is is pretty nasty um that is that all right let's move on that was the first article loved that thank you karate krenner uh this is so great this thing amazes me oh wow that's a nice little setup they've got a sound bar any of you uh use sound bars i never used sound bars it's always been i guess for the ease and stuff like that but i don't know sound bars i've always turned my nose up at going like I'm better than you. I'll either use headphones or speakers, thank you very much, but they're probably pretty good now. Kind of like sidebar audio on the Quest. Like, it's it's pretty decent. Um, this is a picture of the person doing it. Um, I'm not going to watch that video. Well, we are having the time of our goddamn lives with 736 upvotes on Pavlov. Hell yeah. And it says, I see your racing chair and raise you. A kayak. Yeah, I saw someone posting about this the other day. Different person though, Ray Ray Polanski. Um, people have some nice... Look, he's got a freaking fish tank. Don't play Gorn. I'm going to say it again. Don't play Gorn in there. You will destroy your fish tank and your TV. And you will be sad to be crying over those fishies. I'm telling you. Widespread right sense issues thread. Can't press X or R2 in games. Huh. This is sharing various fixes. Uh, seems like something can be fixed in software. Let's let's read this just to be aware. Hi, everyone. Like a lot of folks on here, I can't get button presses on my right sense controller to register in games. But on the main PS5 menu, it's fine. I'm starting this thread in hopes that a clearly labeled post can get upvoted and maintain some visibility. I'll be sharing the various potential fixes that I found near the bottom of the post. None of them have worked for me so far, but some folks say they've worked for them. Please comment with any you have, and I'll add them to the post. Good on you. Good on you. Who is this? Hoodie the cat. Uh, also, let me know if you have any game recommendations that don't require sense or still work in spite of the issue so we can all still have fun while this gets worked out. Thumper, thumper, and thumper. Thumper's great. You can also GT7 if you are into that kind of thing with a, a dual sense controller. <clears throat> By the way, I don't personally blame Sony for this. It's just something that comes with being an early adopter. It's put a damper on my hype, but there are still great games like GT7 and Thumper and Tetris Effect to play. Uh huh. Very good. Potential fixes. Enable button mapping. This just keep your mashing the buttons. Remove unused controllers. Clear the cache. Games that work despite this issue. Gran Turismo, Thumper, Tetris Effect, Kayak, Pistol Whip. Very good. Five games you can play. All good games. Maybe they'll sort this out. Spent the whole afternoon and evening trying to stay calm <laughs> and go through every suggested hack. No luck. I've been stabbing my poor new sense controllers with a needle. What are you, some kind of voodoo priest? What? Um, most of the time, and I decided to quit and I accidentally made my finger bleed. What the feck are you doing? I don't understand you people. <laughs> what are you doing? Why are you poking your new controllers with needles? Um... <clears throat> Made me realize just how stupid this is to keep trying. Uh, I'd really hope this thread is pinned and the best solution is, as you suggested, to tweet ask PlayStation. They need to address this. Okay, maybe my delay has uh, come at the right time. 
I had it come up a couple of times, but could always just click a bunch uh, to get it to work again. It definitely sounds like a software issue. Some tips here. Yeah, same issue here. I'm mad I can't play. Okay, so button click problem is out there. Uh-huh. Holy shit. This is the only thing from the list that has worked for me. Play around and see if it sticks. What did what did they say? I tried this with RE8 as soon as VR mode it wants you to, and that's where everything comes to halt for the game. If they didn't work, what, where, where, where? Which one? Top for the tip. Thanks. Added. What is this? Uh, what ended up working for me was turning off the controllers, booting up the game with the dual sense, then turning on the very controllers once you're in game. Okay. Okay, so some kind of a connection issue. Cool. Very good. By the way, I know I've kind of bored some of you, right? This, uh, this, this, I'll call it daily vlog thing, um, will not go on forever, right? I'm going to get busy with games and stuff and doing streams, but it's a really handy format for me to get you know, my opinion and my thoughts out there and still connect with all of you. So, um, I didn't do this for very, very many years. I kind of avoided and pushed away from all the baked videos. Um, and now I'm embracing them again, uh, just as a way for us to connect. Uh, me checking UPS site every two minutes. I like that these posts are like dying down a little bit. <laughs> oh no, crying with the earbuds in. Uh, da, 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 da. PSVR one hard case fits PSVR two. Hmm. Well, it is a slight look. It's almost like a. It's a very similar looking headset. That hinge is really interesting to me. I, I need to look at that in detail. Me right now. Uh, what is this? Label created. <laughs> Smiling. There, there were several of these. Uh, I saw them earlier. Our Light Brigade launch trailer. All right. Um, this one I'm really curious about, so I'm going to run it, and I'm going to mute it. Um, just because Light Brigade is one of those that I don't have a key for yet, and I would really like to try it. I've, I've watched a few people play it, but because it's like a, a an FPS and a roguelite, um, it just might be for me. It might really, really be for me. So, I mean, it's a pretty cool looking game. It reminds me a lot of In Death, but with rifles, you know. So, and and so it does this thing and kind of procedural levels. It's a bit dark and stuff. So I don't know how well it'll stream. It's a bit dark and foggy and stuff. So it might be one to rather play for myself offline and things. But uh, the HUD, like again, not much of a fan of the HUD. It's not too heavy, but it's enough that it might piss me off. Uh, but the gun mechanics and stuff look fun. They look good. I, I, I'm curious how an FPS feels in uh, in that. Oh, there's card mechanics as well. Well, tickle me pink and call me Samantha. Okay. I'm a card guy. Played Magic the Gathering for like 30 years. All right. Uh, actually, 30 years this year. Holy feck, I'm old. Okay. 10 years in one photo. Forgive me for only having GT7 as digital. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's the original, uh, what was that called again? The, um, oh, the Sony visor one. Oh, that's so cool. Don't panic if headset doesn't turn on. Here's what to do. Okay. No Man's Sky. I realized, I remembered I bought a copy on PlayStation. I checked it last night. I have it. So I got this, the Fractal update, and um, we're going to get a chance. Now this is, look, look at the graphical fidelity and overhaul. Look at how smooth that is. They, they obviously went from like 30 to 60 FPS there or something, but... To be able to play this game now in PSVR 2, if they've addressed the HUD thing, man, it's going to be cool. Okay, there's no fucking... They always do this in trailers where people are, like, crewing up and flying in a squad. Like, no, no one's doing that. No one's lining up their ships. And it's just not that easy. Okay, the mechs might be cool. Uh, meeting other people in space, space hubs and stuff. What is this, fucking Horizon? I don't know. I'm seeing some lighting inconsistencies, but uh, you know, it's No Man's Sky is very far reaching, so I'm not I'm not too worried about that. I, I haven't been in NMS in quite a quite some time, so we're gonna have to try that one. I've got it, and I will be trying it. So that's 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 certainly one we're gonna do. Okay. Where are we? I think I'm is that another post? Left controller doesn't work. Solution. Looking for a quick meal break. Playing video games. Try Hello Fresh. I just fell for a promoted ad. Feck. Okay. <clears throat> I think we might have broken the, the UPS website. Users reports indicate problems at UPS. <laughs> uh, wife and brother-in-law caught me playing RE8. I almost shot my pants. Oh, that's funny. I don't... Should we play it? Let's just see what happens. So someone's 
We're walking through. Oh, no, 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 no. No, it's a bad idea. Don't do this to people. Don't. Now. <laughs> All right. We have a name for you. <laughs> oh, I kind of love it. And at the same time, complete asshole. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Um, let's see if we can get back to Reddit. There we are. Oh no, I scrolled too far. Oh well, we are 20 odd minutes in. Do we call it there? I think we should. But uh, let me see. Come on, little bar. Come on, let's zip down. Uh, we did that one. That one, that one. Okay. What's this? Racing my McLaren in Tokyo in full VR is a peak moment. The visuals are outstanding. By Yeldell Media. Oh, that's, um, I know that guy. He's the one who posts with the kind of like inaccurate green screen all the time. Um, he's really trying hard to kind of grip on. I just, if I was in, I'd focus on quality a little bit more. And I uh, know when, first five minutes, my package just arrived. Holy fucking shit. I really couldn't believe what I'm seeing. I feel like I'm really, oh God. Okay. Yes. Let's make it 300. Oh, look at that. People are just cranking it up. Uzi out. Okay. My package had just arrived an hour ago. I put my Slack status on be right back. I work from home because I couldn't wait. Uh, this is my first VR headset ever. More than that, it's my first time wearing a VR headset. Uh, so after some initial setup, which was really cool experience in itself for me, I opened Kayak VR. No, seriously, this is the one that's going to blow people's minds. Um, holy fucking shit. I really couldn't believe what I'm seeing. I feel like I'm really transported onto a pool. The image is so clear and so real. I don't know how some guys say it's blurry, but to me it looks amazing. So real, I cried a little. This is one of my childhood dreams. Holy shit, I love tears. I love tears. I absolutely love tears. If I can make you cry, I'll feckin' do it. All right. <clears throat> uh, I even compared what I see from the headset to what I see on TV. I have a 55-inch Samsung QLED, and it's night and day. No matter how real it looks on TV, it can't compare to how the immersion I felt on the PSVR 2. That's it for me. I'm going back to work while waiting for Horizon Call of the Mountain to download. Big feckin' Nelly, that one. I've never been so happy buying a gadget. Lol. Thank you for all the hype. You were the ones that influenced me to buy this. Totally worth it. Yeah, yeah, go, go. Either unrealistic expectations or they're wearing it wrong is my guess. Yeah. Or bad eyesight. A lot of people don't even know they have sight, short sightedness issues. I only realized after I started playing VR and went for an eye test to get my, my IPD right. I literally read to get my iPod right. There's something wrong with my eyes. I have astigmatism in both my eyes. It looks pretty good to me. Might try it with my glasses on. <laughs> Uh, it, but it's actually that you have an astigmatism, not astigmatism. It's one word or it's one letter, but when said or heard, it's very normal to think it is a stigmatism. Uh, well, I guess my optician needs a telling off because he literally wrote it. <laughs> uh, there's a stigmatism and there is astigmatism in the same way that there is symmetry and asymmetry. But amusingly, maybe to me, stigmatism is also sometimes called anastigmatism. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a stroke? Oh my god. Uh, whole body's nerfed. That's fine. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. Uh, go ahead. Go on. Go on. For the kudos. Uh huh. All that kind of stuff. Anyone else posting on there? We'll leave it. All right. I think we're almost time. Uh, we're out of time. Look at this. That's all the things that came in. I'm not even going to read that. I see a unicorn. That's good enough. Uh, Resident Evil Village PSVR 2 support is a separate download. You'll spot a 738 megabyte or 783 megabyte download for the PSVR 2 mode, which you need to ensure is installed before immersing yourself. Smart. Okay. Good job, the Ben. I've seen you before. Lenses are not blurry. Yeah, everyone's like, um, so funny. I, I agree finding the sweet spot was more difficult than I imagined, but once locked in, it's all good. Uh, I just thought I'd post this as I imagine it's going to be filled with newer people complaining. Yeah. Headset positioning and IPD make a whole world of difference. All that kind of stuff. All right. I think that's enough. I think that's enough. Is there anything else? This is... <laughs> what are you preparing? You're always preparing. Just go. Just give me the delivery. All right. We're definitely back to the waiters. Um... Someone with hundreds of hours since... Okay. Yeah, display reprojection sucks. I'm hearing that. I'm hearing that people don't like it. Um, 
All right, let me let, let me just see what this person says. Oh, no, I don't want to see what this person says because I need to form my own opinion and I don't want them to color it yet. Just not yet. Pardon me. I am a snoozy, sneezy guy today. This is me after recharging the batteries and I'm like, I'm like done. Okay, so for tomorrow's stream, it's going to be hopefully very vibrant. Uh, there will be music. There will be hat cam. Uh, there will be an unboxing that extends way, way beyond what most people do. Most people are done with an unboxing in like five minutes. Mm -mm. We don't do it like that. Not here. We enjoy ourselves. So for now, let us get on with the box unboxing. The first step with nothing more than a spork. I'm going to try. <laughs> this is a test. I'm supposed to do this tomorrow. This is my test run because not all of you will be there for the stream. And vice versa. So we're going to try this. Okay. Uh, we know what that is. This is going to be... I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, it ripped it. Cool. All right. I'm not worried about showing you or anything. You've seen what a box opening looks like before. Um, what I am going to do... I just... I, I see people with these stupid fucking ninja swords. <laughs> Karen would go crazy. She's like, it's a kata. No! Oh no! I've broken my spork! <laughs> Shit. Well, there goes one of our camping sporks. I have more. Maybe I'll need to be more gentle tomorrow. <laughs> Maybe they weren't made for this. I don't know. It's all possible. I would love it if there were like just, I don't know, nappies or something in here. It's just like garments for... Oh, Jesus. The thing is, I've tried to keep my eyes off of ogling the neighbors or whatever. And, uh... Wow, that's actually smaller than I thought it was going to be. Okay. That's one box. I will put that on my table. We will come back to that tomorrow. All right. That's box one. Thank you for staying with me. Oh, God, my nose! I'm trying. I'm trying to hold off. I don't want to do the whole blowing thing, because uh, this microphone is very detailed. I'm trying. We gotta do this fast. Because those sounds are nasty. Man, I hope for the podcast I'm alright. Because if I'm not, I'm gonna be like, Hey, Adam! <laughs> you wanna run the show? He's back from Maui. Uh, and, after this, I book my flights to GDC. I'm going to GDC this year. Woo! That's in San Francisco. I didn't know. <laughs> I got confused. I was like, is that Germany? More on that next week. All right. Um, oh, shit. Oh, God. This is one of those things where you're like, uh-oh. Well, that's not disconcerting, is it? It is. It's been opened. What the feck? And, and ripped. This is, uh... Who would have done that? Who would have opened? Who would have opened the PlayStation already? Look at this. Uh, dear Amazon, that looks like someone definitely opened it. And this kind of proves that someone opened it and did so hastily. And they ripped the box. Remember what I said about the first PlayStation VR? Um, how I wanted to be super careful to not rip the box. Someone did it for me. Yeah, it's properly ripped. Yes, yeah, man. All right. Well, that is it. If there's anything wrong with it. I mean, it is just a box, but. But I care. Um, I just need to peek. It's like it popped open, and then someone tried to shove it down and ripped it. Maybe it was sitting in a warehouse or something? I mean, it feels like that's been off. That's not very tacky at all. Well, I will have to wait until tomorrow to find out. Feck's sake. Uh, well, that adds a little bit of suspense. So, that's the PlayStation. That's going to sit on the table, too. And just wait for a show tomorrow. There's Zim with his... Broken Spork, and his broken PlayStation VR 2 box, and I can only hope 
that over the next 24 hours, something else doesn't break. Look, thanks for staying with me. We're going to hold out for tomorrow. Kamehameha level energy. And I'm very excited to get to play the thing. So uh, one little trick I wanted to show you is this little guy. I don't know if you can see it, just barely in the video. This is a this is a Mag MagSafe connector for the PlayStation. And the cool thing, this is a, an ElectJet one. You can see it at gear.zimtalk5.com. And I've got a Ugreen uh, USB extender to extend the cable because I hear both of these work. Now, obviously, I haven't tested them yet, but this is what I'm ready for. So this basically drops it straight to the ground and the cable itself will attach to the PlayStation VR 2. And it gives me an extra meter, an extra three feet of distance. And then peace of mind, should some game get too exciting, this will disconnect. Okay? Without pulling my PlayStation to the ground, is the thought. So hopefully that design works. It's nice because it's, uh, it's cute. It just kind of sits there, snaps right in. More of that when we get to playing the game. Resident Evil 8 is up to the chop block. And if you didn't check it out already... See the last episode, episode 7. This was 22nd of February, 2023, PSVR 2 launch day. My name is Zim, and I wish you all a very happy day. My poor spork! <laughs>